10 News starts right now. Good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Yutze. Here's a look at your top stories on this Monday. Thousands of people across South Florida going to the polls over the weekend trying to beat the last minute voting rush. Music was booming from speakers as voters stood in long lines at a Miami Gardens polling site yesterday. The push to the polls encouraged by the Souls to the Polls event, an organized effort to help build excitement for the voting process. The lines at Southwest Regional Library voting site in Pembroke Pines were steady. The next time to cast your ballot is tomorrow on Election Day. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement is searching for a teen from Lighthouse Point who has been reported missing. Leliani Gonzalez was last seen Saturday along Northeast 48th Street. The 15-year-old last seen wearing a black tube top, black shorts with black stockings and black boots. She's medium length, black and purple hair. If you know where she is, please give FDLE a call at the number on your screen. The University of Central Florida freshman has died after gunshots were fired at a Halloween party. 19-year-old Timothy Schmidt Jr. was among eight people who were shot. He and the other victim did not survive. Those who knew Timothy say he went to high school at Cypress Bay in Weston. The gunman identified as 17-year-old Jalen Edgar. He has a criminal history. He was taken into custody and currently is facing two counts of first-degree murder. And a man rescued after a near drowning in Margate. Margate police and fire department responding to the scene on Rock Island Road just after 5 p.m. on Sunday. The scene there, they found an unidentified man in a lake behind a home. He was taken to the hospital where he is receiving medical care. As breaking news happens, we will keep you covered on air and online. Head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.